Okay, well, All-Star Game's coming soon, but bad news for the All-Star Game is Kevin Durant being injured. And this is with this, this will make the All-Star Game one of the more disappointing All-Star Games, and that's not the only reason why. There's way more reasons due to snubs, and this year's worse than it ever has been. Ever has been. So here's the All-Star Reserves. Anthony Davis will be injured for the All-Star Game as well. Once again, another disappointing thing. Paul George, Rudy Gobert, Damian Lillard, Donovan Mitchell, Chris Paul, Zahn Williamson, Nikola Vucevic, Jason Tatum, Ben Simmons, Julius Randle, Zach Levine, James Harden, and Jalen Brown. These are all amazing players, but there's six weak spots here. And they're popping up on the screen right now. Now, don't get me wrong. No one's a bad player. I, I, I will never say anyone in the All-Star game is a bad player. That That's for sure. But there I have a full-on list of players who should have made it over them. Okay, so it's Fred Van Vliet, Devin Booker, DeMar DeRozan, Trey Young, Kyle Lowry, Pascal Siakam, and Bam Adebayo all did not make the All-Star game. Now I'm going to go from the lowest chance to make it to the highest chance and go after one other player after. Because I'm really mad about that. Um. Anyways, uh, so let's go from the lowest, Fred Van Vliet. I think you have the lowest chance to make it because this is sad to say, but he does play for the Raptors, and the league doesn't really know the Raptors are a real team. So um, <laughs> I'm just joking, but um, obviously he's not as good as some some players that are here. I think we know that both. No no respect. He's playing amazing still. Okay, second lowest is Bam Adebayo for the sole reason that his team is struggling. However, I don't think this way. Now, when you look at the All-Star game, and you look at some of the starters, Bradley Beal, really, that's all I have to say. Lucas' team is even struggling, and obviously it's not to the extent of the Wizards. I mean, no, the Wizards are on a streak now, but their record is, that doesn't make their record good. Um, but... Just, just, just that Bam Adebayo didn't make it because his team's not good enough. It doesn't make sense. This is not the MVP race. It, the, the, for the MVP race, it's usually the best player on the best team. That's why we've seen Giannis win it twice in a row. In a row. Um, but like, it's way different here because it's not the MVP race. The, we will. The, the, this is for the fans. We want to see the best players come out and ball. It's, it's really that simple. So, like, when you see someone not make it because their team not being good, it, it, it doesn't make sense. That's all I'm going to say. It doesn't make sense. Okay. So, Pascal Siakam didn't make it. And I know I put him as a lower chance to make it, but that's once again because of him being young and on the Raptors. That really what lowers it. Like, this is not disrespecting the league in any way. I'm glad you, you know, make our players make the team, obviously. So I'm not saying we get snubbed because we're on the Raptors. So, like, if you average 100, you get less recognition than someone averaging 30 because you're on the Raptors. No, it's not like that. But for Pascal Siakam, he started off the season not that well. But so did the Raptors, okay, all together. And then after, when he starts playing better, we start actually looking like the Raptors. So I don't, I really don't get why he's not making it here. You know, it's, it's, it doesn't make sense to me. It just, it just straight up doesn't, you know? Okay, next up, Kyle Lowry. So the, the, basically, there's, there, was no, there was no Raptors who made the All-Star team this season. That's what you're telling me. Okay, no. Kyle Lowry has been playing like an All-Star. He's playing the exact same as he always does, being a consistent player, doing everything, really, that you want out of a player. Literally, gra- gra- still grabbing rebounds, playing the bet, playing amazing defense, taking charges. He's hustling. He's hitting threes everywhere at all the time. Driving, making layups. He's doing everything. He's doing everything. Right? He's the heart and soul of this Raptors team, right? 
Well, and when you see him not make the ra- make make the All Star team, what well, what it really makes you think that it's the it's the bad bias because the Raptors. It really does. It, I, I'm sorry, it really does. Okay, well, Devin Booker is a even worse case because he's probably gonna make it in replacement for Anthony Davis, but. I'm really confused here because, like, why he, why is he not getting voted in and then only making it because he's a replacement? Is that what the league thinks? Devin Booker's just a replacement? Because, like, it, it confuses me. It really does. Because we know Devin Booker is better than Chris Paul. Right now... Devin Booker is better than Chris Paul. Can we agree on that? Yes, we can. And we know Devin Booker is better than Rudy Gobert. And we know, like, we know he's better than a bunch of players, and he's still not making the team. I I don't know what to tell you, Devin Booker. I do not, bro. I don't. I really don't, bro. Okay, so next up on my list is DeMar DeRozan. And this makes me super mad because ever since he's left the Raptors, it's it's just not the same DeMar. But at the same time, it is. But it seems like it's not because he's not making all-star teams. Like, we want to see DeMar in the all-star game. He's just an exciting player. And he puts he's putting up those stats this season. Like, those stats you need to make it? Yeah, that. 20 points. Pretty sure he's averaging something like six wards and seven assists. And people used to say he didn't pass before, and he was making it. I'm not saying this is the same Demar. Don't get me wrong. He's in these like he's not in his prime anymore. We know that. I'm sorry. We know that. But like, come on now. Like, it's really it's ridiculous. Next up on my list. Trey Young. Now, when I when I when I saw inside the NBA, they were talking about starting off the season. Why isn't Trey Young thinking he's Trey Young? Like he's playing like he's Rajon Rondo. He's not. He's not even like he's barely shooting. You know, that's not what Trey Young does, obviously. And like he's now he's now that he's averaging twenty seven points and ten assists, you'd think, oh, he's back to Trey Young. He's He's going to be an all-star starter again. Yeah, things are going to go as planned. He didn't make the all-star game, is what you're going to tell me. He bet. Now, listen to me. He better be the replacement for Kevin Durant. I'm, I don't care. I don't care. Okay, so for the net... For, for, actually, no, nah, he can't be the replacement for Kevin Durant. But this is a guy who can be. My player who makes me the most mad that they didn't make the All-Star game is DeMontis Sabonis. Now, this will make no sense. If he comes and is a replacement for a starter and not even making it as a reserve, then the NBA still did wrong. I really won't care if he makes it as a starter. I won't care. Because to me, it's still like he didn't deserve that spot. Okay, obviously he deserved the spot. But to me, it's like, he oh, he wasn't even supposed to be a reserve. So, like, why is he starting? Now, that That's what it is. That's really what it seems like now. So, think about it this way. If, if you don't make the third best team... Or the second best. But then there's someone missing for the first team because they got injured and can't play anymore. And you go all the way up and spike up to the first team. Instead of like someone on the second team going to the first to replace them. Does does that mean that you deserve to be one? Or should you deserve being four? Four meaning literally no, no team. It, 
it doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense when you look at it that way as well. And that, that that's the those those are the main reasons. Oh no, those no, no those aren't even the main reasons why this is gonna be a disappointing All Star game. Now when you look at the when you look at the players who are here, it's gonna be exciting. But it's not gonna be the same. It's definitely not when you look at the people who are injured at the bottom. I'll I'll go through that in a second. But I'm glad I'm glad they made it exciting, you know? So they they did miss some players, I get it. Who would have been exciting as well. <clears throat> Trey Young, <clears throat> Pascal Siaka, <clears throat> DeMar DeRozan. Um, but like they still brought in Jalen I was about to say Jalen Rose. Jalen Jalen Brown, Zach Levine. They brought Obviously, LeBron's still here. Giannis is here. So, it's going to be exciting. High-flying. Very high-flying. But you can't have an All-Star game without the guy who hit the game winner for the All-Star game last year in Anthony Davis. In the Kobe Bryant All-Star game. I'm always calling it that. And you can't not have Kevin Durant. I'm not... Okay, obviously, they're injured. The NBA has nothing to do with that. But, like, it just sucks. How do you... How are those guys injured and you're going to still miss? Like, even if they use two players from this list to replace them, they're still going to miss one, two, three, four, five, six. They're going to miss six good guys that they could have put. And Kevin Durant always shows up in the All-Star games and give us highlight, to give us highlights. Well, that was the video. And subscribe. Like.